Dear TMJ sufferer, you're about to discover what may be the most powerful TMJ disorder and tinnitus cure system ever developed. It's the same system thousands of men and women, just like you, used to permanently heal their TMJ disorder and achieve permanent freedom from tinnitus and jaw, neck and facial pain, clenching, teeth grinding, unexplained headaches, and other TMJ-related symptoms. My name is Sandra Carter and over the past 14 years, through a long process of trial, error, and experimentation, I have developed a surefire, 100% guaranteed, clinically researched system backed by 45,000 plus hours of intense medical research for eliminating TMJ disorder and related tinnitus for good. This is a very rare, highly unique, and potently powerful TMJ and tinnitus healing system, which very few people even know exists. Are you suffering from any of the following symptoms? Difficulty opening and closing your mouth ringing or hissing sounds in your ears pain in healthy teeth sinus pain sore jaw in the morning pressure behind the ears difficulty hearing teeth grinding locked jaw teeth clenching clicking sounds when opening or closing your mouth unexplained pressure behind your eyes hearing loss unexplained headaches. If you are suffering from any of the above symptoms, and if you would like to learn how to heal your TMJ disorder and related tinnitus permanently, then this will be the most important letter you will ever read. I guarantee it, and I've got the results to prove it. Your facial asymmetry is progressing. Your TMJ disorder is pulling on the muscles on the side of your face and wearing on your jaw. That's what's caused your jaw to move to one side and become lopsided. As Dr. Samuels held a mirror to my face from an angle I had not seen before, I shuddered inside when I saw my disfigured face looking back at me. How could this have gotten so bad? I thought. The current treatments I was using, such as splints, mouth guards, Botox injections, and painkillers gave me nothing but partial and temporary relief. Feeling more depressed and hopeless than ever, I looked over to my husband and our two kids standing outside as Dr. Samuels sat down with an earnest look on his face. I stared at him hoping for a solution. There must be something else you can do, I pleaded at him. I just couldn't spend the rest of my life with an asymmetric face, constant jaw pain, a lack of sleep, chronic snoring, hearing loss, ear ringing, and hissing sounds to boot. I couldn't spend my life like this. Yet that was exactly what I was facing. This was just 18 months ago, when jaw pain, ear ringing, and searing neck pain were my daily reality. Dr. Samuels warned me of what was to come, your facial asymmetry may become worse and more apparent, he said. That jaw popping will continue to get louder and you may even find your jaw locking on occasion and needing medical help to free up again. And let's not forget tinnitus and the intense face, head, and neck pain that TMJ causes. It had been 14 years since I'd been diagnosed. I was now only 35. It started as the occasional teeth grinding and one-off loud pop. I was living life large. My career was headed toward the fast track, my love life was in full swing, and I had just purchased my first house. Life was hectic, and I loved it. Then it started, the occasional teeth grinding and one-off loud pop when I widely opened my mouth. Then it became regular. And loud. And by, loud, I mean that a person five feet away could hear it. I quickly learned to not open my mouth all the way. Why? Because twice it almost dislocated when I yawned, which really scared the life out of me. And then I developed the sensation of clicking, popping, and scraping whenever I moved my mouth. It was especially disturbing when I was eating, and it provided a constant reminder to me that things were gradually getting worse. Then I started to experience headaches a few times a week. More annoying than debilitating, they soon changed from simple stress headaches to something much, much worse. Before I knew, I experienced eye pain in addition to a constant throbbing in my head, ringing in my ears, pressure behind my eyes, and even some blurring. Scared, I headed to my doctor's office. After a few tests, he confirmed that I suffered from cluster headaches verging on migraines. Relieved it wasn't anything more serious, I began treating my symptoms. If you are interested please click the link below the video. Then came a new set of symptoms, 
problems swallowing, clogged and stuffy ears, a sore neck and a backache, pain in my cheek muscles and shoulders, clenching, worsening sounds in my ears, and I had awful migraines and severe teeth grinding at night which was so strong I broke several teeth over the years. A few more trips to the doctor and a few more tests, but still no diagnosis. I was sick and getting sicker. Then my TMJ started to affect my hearing, and I developed moderate tinnitus. I personally found this terrifying. I love music, I love talking with friends, I enjoy movies, I needed my hearing. I was scared out of my mind that I was going deaf. It began with earaches. And then ringing in the ears. But it progressed to a kind of, thickening, of my ears alongside loud rin, geeing especially at night and in the early morning. All this slow build-up of pain and misery wore away at me, my health, my happiness, and my life. It wasn't until a routine visit to my dentist when I told him about my recent medical problems, including the sounds in my ears and an annoying clicking and soreness in my jaw, that he suggested I be tested for TMJ syndrome. Since nothing else had panned out, I agreed, and within a week I was sitting in a specialist's office with a firm TMJ diagnosis in hand. Thankful to finally know what was causing my symptoms, and my increasing pain, I felt sure that relief would soon be on its way. It wasn't. I remember so clearly how frightening it all was back then. I visited TMJ forums and what I read scared the life out of me. Many, many people had suffered from TMJ for decades. I learned from their comments that there was plenty more misery to come. Worst of all were the people who said their vision was becoming distorted. I was already scared that my hearing was going. To lose my sight too was beyond thinking. TMJ along with tinnitus had affected every part of my life. It wrecked my career as a dentist in the clinic as I could no longer concentrate due to the intense pain in my face. It destroyed my friendships as I was isolated in the house, not wanting to see anyone as I was always grumpy from a lack of sleep. And it was driving a wedge between myself and my husband Jim, as our relationship was straining under the stress of sleepless nights, it sucked all the fun and intimacy out of our relationship. Jim wanted to go to gatherings or take a trip, but I couldn't go with him most of the time. I remember on our 12th wedding anniversary, we planned to go to an old famous five-star restaurant downtown. On the night in question, I was overwhelmed with the pain in my neck, back, and shoulders, and across my jaw and the constant loud noise in my ears had really started taking its toll. I found chewing impossible. All the popping and clicking in my jaw was driving me mad and was intensely embarrassing. Sometimes, just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, the pain in my face would keep me awake all night. And then, suddenly, tinnitus and jaw pain cranked up tenfold. No one knew why. According to Dr. Samuels, I was now one of the 5% to 10% of Americans suffering from severe TMJ, face distortion, and tinnitus triggered by TMJ disorder that at the time had no real cure. The non-stop jaw aches, my asymmetric facial expression, and progressing tinnitus made life unbearable for me. Before, all these symptoms had been debilitating. Now they were overwhelming. I could barely sleep at all with the constant ringing in my ears and pain in my upper back and neck. I was so tired that my eyes became permanently bloodshot, and I had dark bags underneath them from the heavy, never-ending facial pain. For a while I could dampen the pain with painkillers and jaw muscle relaxants, but now nothing I tried could block out the relentless heavy facial aches and asymmetric face. Depression set in, I became so angry and short-fused that I was constantly snapping at my husband Jim for nothing. He was just trying to help. 14 years of TMJ experimentation, research, trial and error. Years passed without any solution in sight, and I became obsessed with the subjects of holistic health and nutrition. I wanted to know everything there was to know about how to heal TMJ and tinnitus and prevent it permanently, I've been absolutely consumed by this quest. So I started studying, and hard. I bought every book on facial and jaw pain, teeth grinding, nerve damage, sinus issues, hearing loss, tinnitus, mouth and muscle therapies, oriental medicine, detoxing, dieting, and nutrition that I could get my hands on. 
I spent hours at the library swallowing stacks of books, journals, and magazines about TMJ, tinnitus, bruxism, and nutrition and reading every word. I have literally read hundreds of medicine books from cover to cover. My library quickly grew to over 327 health and nutrition books, and I read every word almost to the point of memorizing them. But I didn't just read. I interviewed countless other TMJ sufferers and endlessly picked the brains of every doctor, chiropractor, dentist, neurologist, osteopath, herbalist, homeopath and naturopath who was kind enough to lend me minutes of their time and fragments of their expertise and knowledge, but I did not find a solid solution to my TMJ and tinnitus. With no relief in sight, I went to see another so-called aerofacial surgeon hoping for a respite. He worked at the General Hospital in Boston, ranked in the top 10 in the USA for TMJ treatment. I hoped for a way out of this waking nightmare of noise, pain, and disability. The doctor cleared his throat. There is something we can do, he said. My head jerked towards him excitedly. We can try jaw surgery, he said. We can get you booked in right now. I had tried surgery before and only ended up with more popping and clicking in my jaw. I don't want any surgery. I screamed in frustration, shocking the doctor. Even I was surprised at my reaction. I used to be so easygoing. I'd smile at everyone I met, until this condition got me in its unrelenting grip. But that's how low TMJ pain and tinnitus had dragged me down. At that moment, I felt hope itself draining from my body. My shoulders sank and my head bowed as the heavy realization set in. I was going to be stuck in this painful, debilitating condition for the rest of my life. The words came slipping out of my mouth to my husband. I can't live like this, I said to Jim. I was angry at the doctors, the dentists, the chiropractors, and the therapists who had no answer for me, not even a reason as to why this was happening. For 14 years, they had done practically nothing to help. But most of all, I was angry at myself for being so helpless. All I wanted was to get back to my old self again. My old face. No pain. No loud pops when opening my mouth wide. No ear ringing. But I couldn't. I didn't know how. The next day I called into work, saying I was sick. I'd done that a million times due to my progressing TMJ and tinnitus. You see, I always wanted to travel to Asia. And as I was drowning my sorrow while surfing the internet, an ad popped up for a cheap last-minute flight to Hong Kong, leaving the next day. Before I could think about the pain, irritation from tinnitus, and embarrassment of flying across the world with my, new asymmetric face, I bought the ticket and began packing. I thought it couldn't be more painful than staying in my house. How an 87-year-old lady changed my life. After tossing and turning for about 12 hours, as tired as I had ever been in my life and tortured with ear ringing and jaw pain, I checked in and then got out of the hotel and sat down at the first restaurant I could find. Then something bizarre happened. An old Chinese woman came over to me and, without saying a word, poured me a cup of Chinese tea. Then, before I could order, she looked at me with empathy. And then asked with slightly broken yet clear English, TMJ. Yes. I replied with the most surprised expression on my tired, painful face. How did you know? I asked her. She smiled and said, your jaw. I see. You wait, okay, and disappeared into a tiny room next to the kitchen. Well, I was shocked, but what else could I do other than drink my tea and wait for her return? Then the most shocking thing happened. Before I knew it, the old lady came back with a yellowish, worn-out notebook and handed it to me. You read this and you do this, okay? If you are interested please click the link below the video. Before I could ask, why, and what, she gently placed the palm of her hand on my shoulder and said, you be healthy, okay? I thanked her and ordered some soup. Then I quickly opened the notebook. It had all sorts of illustrations of human heads, human jaws, facial expressions, arrows surrounding them, neck movements, postures and so on. 
Each illustration was accompanied by instructions in Cantonese. The old lady came back with the soup and explained. She said that her husband, who was at the time 95 years old, had once suffered from TMJ disorders. He also had a dislocated jaw and noise in his ears, and the exercises in the notebook had been copied from an ancient remedy book given to him by a Chinese monk on a road trip 31 years ago. The old lady added that, by following the exercises in the notebook for only several minutes daily, her husband became completely free from TMJ pain and tinnitus. I ran back to the hotel with excitement and quickly faxed the notebook to a friend in Ohio who was born and raised in Hong Kong and pleaded him to translate the text in these 50-something pages into English and mail it over to me A.S.A.P. I waited a couple of days and then I received an email with a translated text. For the next seven days, I devoted each morning to following the instructions with the illustrations in the notebook exactly. I invested about three to five minutes a day, and after eight days, something miraculous happened. For the first time in years, my jaw loosened up and I felt no pain. I looked in the mirror and the asymmetry was gone. And guess what? The noise in my ears that was driving me crazy was gone. I also had energy like a 12-year-old. It was like my TMJ pain and tinnitus was completely gone right then and there. I ran back to the restaurant. It was approximately 10 p.m. and it was still open. The mysterious woman came up to me from behind and asked in broken English. Now, how you feel? Believe me when I say. I didn't just thank her, with tears in my eyes, I also hugged this old woman. Her name was, Chunwa. As we began to chat, she told me she came from a small village in southeast China. She immediately recognized my TMJ condition because of my facial asymmetry and knew for sure that the information in the notebook that once helped her husband get rid of his TMJ would be a lifesaver for me. And then came my promise to her. I ate at Chunwa's restaurant every day of my trip. But even more importantly, I squeezed every drop of knowledge that I could possibly get out of her. And she was more than happy to share it with me. A couple of days before I left, she made me promise, and I swore I would keep it. She said that since so many people in the Western world suffered from TMJ and tinnitus like I did, I should go back and help them with everything I had learned. Go help those in need, she made me promise. Now, 14 painful years and thousands of diligent work hours later, the TMJ puzzle had finally been solved. After more than 14 years of diligent work and in-depth daily research, after experiencing several eureka moments, and after a long process of trial and error and dozens of interviews and self-experiments, who would have believed a worn-out notebook from an old lady who works in a restaurant in Hong Kong would be the simple yet brilliant solution I has searched for, for so long. From all the truth and evidence, misconceptions and lies, the TMJ puzzle had finally been solved. It took two more long years to refine and polish my discovery. It took me a few more years working with three chiropractors and two dentists, who were also friends of mine from Sweden, to polish, refine, and perfect the three-minute exercise protocol and to know exactly what worked and what didn't. Yes, after desperate trial and error, countless of useless treatments, disappointments, pain, frustration and agony, a simple three-minute exercise system opened the door to my new and much brighter TMJ and tinnitus-free life. I was also excited to see that my TMJ and other related symptoms had dramatically diminished. After years of suffering, I was finally free from TMJ and tinnitus. Amazingly, every other man and woman who used this method got the same results. Two of the three chiropractors I was working with to refine the protocol were working in a top-level medical school research center, and they started to trial our TMJ and tinnitus exercise protocol on a test group in the US of 170 people who suffered from mild to severe TMJ and tinnitus. After just 15 days, the experiment's results were astonishing, 93% of the group no longer suffered from TMJ symptoms, and the remaining 7% had no symptoms after another 18 days. What's even more exciting is that it worked on all types of TMJ disorders and on all levels of severity and with men and women of any age.
all men and women who used this method had experienced the following benefits. Their TMJ condition became manageable very quickly, the frequency and intensity of the pain and pressure in the mouth, jaw, and neck area and the teeth grinding dramatically decreased, and then completely vanished, never to develop again. Those who suffered from TMJ-related tinnitus reported that the sounds in their ears significantly diminished. The feeling of tension, agitation, and exhaustion from TMJ vanished in a matter of days. Any other TMJ-related symptoms they had, such as mild to moderate pain in the ear and behind the eyes, migraines, clenching, or the feeling of fullness in the ear were completely eliminated. Their personal relationships dramatically improved and so did their productivity at work. They felt happier, calmer, and more energetic. They experienced dramatic improvements in other unrelated health conditions. They felt rejuvenated and reported looking younger and more vibrant. Curing TMJ and related tinnitus for the average patient is nothing more than a gamble. Which doctor, chiropractor, or nutrition specialist is right for you? If the diagnosis is tricky and the source of the pain is so unknown, or impossible, to pin down, then you may as well gamble for a solution. What was amazing to me, and it took me quite a while to realize this, was that the experts I saw didn't actually know how to cure TMJ, not to mention my tinnitus. To their credit, most of them didn't pretend that they did. But it was so incredibly frustrating. On the one hand, they were honest enough to admit the causes were varied and not properly understood. Yet, on the other hand, some of them recommend a solution. A pricey one. But they actually said they offered no guarantees it would work. I still remember my initial shock at the realization that they weren't trying to heal me. They were experimenting on me. And me. I had no clue. I was the rabbit in the middle being experimented on. I just had to cross my fingers and hope the outcome would be positive. There's a standard surgical remedy for jaw and tooth pain caused by TMJ. Only sometimes and not in all cases. And if this doesn't work for me, then what? Perhaps a nerve stimulator will help. And how about decompression surgery? Warning. TMJ surgeries are very expensive and can lead to serious complications and irreversible results. Surgery should be considered when there is a clear structural reason for TMJ that can only be improved with surgery. Whenever you undertake permanent, irreversible procedures such as braces, equilibration, and arthroscopic surgery, you run the risk of permanent changes being made to your mouth and jaw alignment. Before undergoing any irreversible surgical dental procedure, such as braces, equilibration, or surgery, I would strongly advise that you get the opinion of at least two specialists in the field to see that the procedure will bring about significant enough improvement to justify both the high expenses and permanent effects of the surgical procedure. In addition to the irreversible results that surgical and dental procedure can cause, these procedures are also very expensive. One of my surgeries was going to cost $7,000. The doctor admitted he was not certain it would even work. And most are not covered by your health insurance, not to mention the serious complications that may result from such an invasive surgical procedure. Introducing TMJ No More. The only three-minute exercise system in existence that will teach you how to quickly and permanently fix your TMJ disorder and stop related tinnitus in just seven days. TMJ No More is a one-of-a-kind set of holistic protocols along with powerful three-minute-a-day exercises tested and optimized to eliminate your TMJ disorder and tinnitus permanently in seven days, without using drugs, without splints, mouth guards or invasive surgery, and without any side effects. If you are interested please click the link below the video.